All I'm saying is, listen, strict parents breed sneaky kids. I don't care. <laughs> Debate with your mama. Hi, my name is Keisha, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you didn't know, I stopped adding the sound because I don't know if I could get copyrighted for that or not. So I want to tell y'all a story. A story about a time I snuck to see someone. And this is this story is so freaking cringy because be, it's it's not really cringy. Like this story is so smooth because I don't know how we was able to do this <laughs> and not get caught at all. But when I was like 15, I know, right, young. <laughs> I was like 15 and 16. Cause this happened three times. I'm telling you, we was smooth with it. So I was dealing with this dude and he lived out of state. If y'all didn't know, I am originally from Maryland. I currently live in Virginia. So it's, I still have friends out there. I still know people out there. So I was dealing with a dude out in Maryland and we had been dealing with each other for a while. We had been dealing with each other for like a year and a half. It was like some real catfish type stuff. Like we hadn't seen each other like the whole like year and a half. Disclaimer, I was not allowed to date. <laughs> um, I was that, I grew up in like that kind of strict like environment. So I wasn't supposed to be dating until I was 18. So, but you know, I did it anyways. But, <laughs> but we decided to formulate a plan. So we both had a mutual, we had a mutual friend, which is my best friend. We had, we've been friends for like, since we were like three years old. <laughs> and we decided we was gonna formulate a plan, right? So that me and him could see each other. So I was talking to him and I was like, I really wanna see you. He was like, yeah, was like, you know, all that normal like lovey-dovey stuff. And we decided that I would go visit my friend house and obviously my mom wasn't gonna say nothing about that because she loved her like duh we've been friends for like our whole lives basically so I was like all right so we was like and, and my friend was all in on this we was like all right I'm gonna come to your house we're gonna go out somewhere and then we're gonna he's gonna meet us there then y'all do what y'all do and just make sure you're back before my mom is there, basically. And this sounds like some normal stuff, but to me, like if you know me, like I am the definition of a goody two shoes. So like this was kind of terrifying. <laughs> so we formulate our plans together. Oh, side note, my friend mom is straight too. <laughs> so we get our little plan together and we go, I go back to Maryland to visit my friend. So, we get to her house, I think the first day I'd chill with her or whatever, and I'm texting dude like, oh, um, I'm so, we was texting back and forth, oh, I'm so excited to see you, oh, finally get to see you, da, 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 da. So I was like 15, dude was like three years older than me. I know, like, I should've, I, he is like three years older than me, should, I shouldn't, but you know, whatever, like, things happen. <laughs> I learned from that one. Um, at that point, I hadn't even had my first kiss yet. Like, So he was like, how do you feel? Could you about to get your first kiss? <laughs> so all that, you know, you know the pre-talking before you meet up with somebody. So we decided to go to a skating rink because our, her mom wouldn't let us go to the, she wouldn't, her mom wouldn't drop us off at the mall. She would go to the mall with us and just do her own thing while we did our own thing. And I was like, that's too risky. We could cross paths. Like, that's too, like, I didn't want nothing out in the open. I didn't tell, I barely told anyone about this guy. I didn't, well, I didn't have social media, but the social media I did have was Snapchat. I never posted him on there. Um, nothing. Barely anyone knew about him. I did not talk about him, nothing. So, 
because I was not running the risk of getting caught and getting in trouble because I hate getting in trouble. <laughs> so we decided to go to a skating rink. So we, her mom dropped us off at the skating rink. It was me, my best friend, and then her one of her friends was cool as hell. <laughs> So we get to the skating rink, we wait for him to come, we wait for him to get there, all that good stuff. And he finally gets there. We see each other, we're like, ah. And I have my first kiss, da 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 da. We go out to the car. <laughs> so we decide, like, all right, we're not gonna like be around my friends, we finna. So we went out to the car and the first time we just chilled, like we were just chilling, enjoying each other's presence. <laughs> Keep in mind we did this three times. So over the past couple of times, the next few times we did it, we would um we would still still a skating ring. We would go skating, he would pop up, I would go to the car. You know, we would have our time, and then I would go back. I see him grown as hell. I promise it wasn't like that. <laughs> well, okay, to some people, this is not a big deal. You'd be like, well, you can just say your friend is that it, but I was not allowed to date at all. I was barely allowed to crush. So I wasn't gonna be like, tell nobody nothing. So, one of these times, we in the car, doing whatever, and my mom called. She was like, hey, Keisha, Keisha, that's what she, that's what she calls me. <laughs> she was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm at the skating rink. She was like, oh. Um, she was like, oh, it sounds quiet. I was like, yeah, I'm in the bathroom. I was panicking. I kept my voice calm because I'm a G. We don't get caught. So, <laughs> my mom called, told her that I was in the bathroom. She believed it. And next thing you know, one of these times, I don't understand how we was able to do this three times, three whole times. One of these times, so whenever I go to, whenever I would go to my friend's mom's house before we started driving, it would be me, her, and her mom in a group chat. So whenever she was about to pick us up or um, come home to get us for something, she would text the group chat. So. We sitting there, we doing whatever. I have alarm set to know, all right, like, come on, like, it's time to wrap it up. Like, we got to go. <laughs> um, I'm letting, I'm just letting the alarms ring at, at this point. Um, <laughs> I'm letting the alarms ring. And the very last one rings, her mom goes, I'm about to pull up. <laughs> I was like, wait. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. So, um, at this point, I think we had dri driven to like some like back part of a parking lot. So, he in the car, we like, whew. he, <laughs> he pulls up and I made it just in time. And oh, and he smoked heavy. Like when I tell you heavy, like disgustingly heavy, like there's, for me, there's, there should be limits. Like, if you're gonna smoke weed, whatever. I don't care. But if you're doing it morning, noon, and night around the clock, if that's part of your natural scent, like, that's a little much for me. <laughs> so, I would get, I got into her mom's car smelling like straight pack <laughs> because he hotboxed in his car all the time. And I had, it was December, it was my birthday. So I had my jacket zipped all the way up like this and I was sitting in the back of the car like this because I knew, I just knew I smelled like just, just gas. <laughs> and the whole time she was like, hey, you know, did y'all have fun? And we were like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, we had fun. <laughs> so then I would get to her house I immediately threw my clothes in the washer and I was like, I would get, I would feel guilty, I'm not even gonna lie. I get guilty easily. I have like, my conscience is like this big. So I wouldn't be able, I would barely be able to sleep at night. 
And then I would get home, literally, like nothing ever happened. And the only reason my mom found out is because I told her. But I, like when I think back on it, because that, that was smooth. Like, it seems like it ain't nothing, but if you know me and my best friend, then you know, like, I, I really, we were just talking about it like yesterday. It's was like, how did we do that? And nobody figured nothing out. <laughs> I guess that's it. I think, I don't know if that's like a, like a successful story time or not, but like, that's really the only thing I got. Cause I don't really be out here doing nothing. Like I said, I'm an, I'm an angel. I'm a child of God in the highest. And <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna sound like I was really grown and I was fast, but I, I really wasn't. Like that was, I was doing what teenagers do. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys enjoyed this awkward story time, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to, you can subscribe to GGT and Hang. You can subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, I do have social medias. They will all be right here. And I have all the same ad names for everything. So you didn't even have to, you don't even have to remember a bunch of different ad names. If you would like me to do more story times, I can think about things that have happened or that I have done. But I honestly think I'm boring. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But I thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.